So I want to tell you about what's happening currently right now in Palestine, Israel, so-called Israel. The top, top rabbis are claiming that their long-awaited King Messiah has finally arrived. Now this could be yet another false alarm. But in addition to this, there are five blemish-free, one-year-old red heifers recently arrived in so-called Israel from a ranch in Texas, of all places. What is the significance of the blemish-free red heifer? So the blemish-free red heifer, by the way, is the namesake of the second surah of the Quran. Al-Baqarah, Baqaratun, Musallamatun, La Shiatafiha. According to Jewish belief, there have been nine previous perfect red heifers sacrificed. The last one was sacrificed over 2,000 years ago. But then the temple was destroyed by the Romans in 70 of the Common Era. According to the Torah, the water that the priests, the Kohanim, uh, of the temple use uh, for their temple rituals, this water must be purified by the ashes of a two-year-old, blemish-free red heifer. The ashes of one red heifer can last for hundreds of years. So there are currently five perfect red heifers in so-called Israel. If one of them makes them to two years old and is still perfect, then this tenth red heifer in their history will be sacrificed by their king Messiah. And after that, the temple and priesthood can be reestablished in Palestine. And they will push hard to do that. Allahu alam. Now we know that this person, should he emerge, is not the true Messiah. He may not be the Dajjal either. Maybe he's just another false messianic pretender or a forerunner of the Dajjal. The point is he's not the true Messiah.